The starting lineups are sponsored by Hawaiian Tel Federal Credit Union, where membership is open to all island residents. Helima, you belong. For Irvine tonight, the defending national champions, the outside hitters, Connor Hughes, Jordan Default, and Carson Clark. Clark had 29 kills in last night's marathon match. The middle blockers are Austin Diamore and Brian Simmons getting the start tonight. Anthony Spittle is the setter, and a new libero, Will Montgomery, number 18. He will start on the back row for Irvine. Irvine is coached by John Sparrow. Sparrow coming off his second national championship last year, 144 and 79. For the University of Hawaii, they will start tonight. As they come in, five and five on the year, excuse me, five and three on the year, and three and two in the MPSF. The outside hitters are Stephen Hunt, Joshua Walker, and Jonas Umlauf. Umlauf had a total of 37 kills last night. The middle blockers are Matthew Rawson and Brennan Dyer getting the start tonight. Nate Zemiak is the setter, and Rick Cervantes is the libero. Hawaii's coach is Charlie Wade. He is in his first year. So when we come back, we'll get things underway as we gear up for another confrontation between Irvine and Hawaii. The keys to tonight's match are sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. Live well, be well, and thrive. The keys tonight for UC Irvine is passing accuracy. This, uh, this offense is run really quickly. They run a fast bit. In this style of play, you need to have perfect passing. And John Sparrow was not happy with, with his passing last night. There are a lot of overpasses and passes off the net. So tonight, he has a new libero, a freshman, Will Montgomery. For UH, the... Uh, it's role players. Last night, Jonas Umlauf had 66 swings, and Josh Walker had 45 swings to add to that, as well as carrying a really big passing load. So tonight, they're going to need some production out of Hunt, Ross, and Dyer, and Tuaniga in order to kind of ease the load on those two guys. So both of these teams ready to uh, play tonight. You mentioned how even these two teams are. You look at the scenario of last night's match. Hawaii early dominating first two games easily on their side, including 30 to 20 in the second game. And after that, after the break, after the intermission, it was the Irvine Anteater. They came out, they won game three, battled, won game four, went into game five, had five opportunities to win the match, and they came up short. So these two teams are ready to go at it again. And because it is the second meeting, you're going to see the adjustments. The series record is sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts, leaving lasting impressions. Hawaii leads the series 28 to 10. The officials, Wayne Lee, will be up on the pedestal. Dan Hironaka on the floor. And the linesmen are Kevin Chun. As you look at Dan, well, you don't really look at him because he's behind the padding there. Uh, but there is Kevin Chun, and Dean Chimura is the other lineman. There's Dean. Dean's been around for a long time. He's a senior, along with the Chuns, and there are many of them, some of them not related. Here's a basketball score. Nevada defeated Hawaii 66 to 60. Hawaii was in that game all the way, and it was tied with two minutes left. Hawaii comes up short. Outside it goes to default. That goes off uh, the back row, and it also uh, goes off uh, Hawaii. And Walker unable to handle it in the back row. One nothing in favor of the Antidotes. Was that 
Was that a service? That was. Was it? Something about Jordan Default. Um, John Spira tonight has put him in the H1 position. That means that he's away from the setter, or yeah, it means he's away from the setter so that he gets the high ball trouble sets when he's in the front row, as opposed to Clark, because he's in the back row. So he's going to be carrying a heavier load and getting all those junk balls, those bad passes in the transition sets. Semiak serving. And that ball is hit off, hit off by Brian Simmons. So Hawaii has the early lead 2-1. Last night, when you looked at Nate Zemiak, he had 66 assists. That was a long match. Zemiak to serve again. That's dug up here. Spittle outside to default. And in that violation call, it could be on Rawson. Rawson goes palms upwards, but we are tied at two. It may take it may take both teams a little bit to get into this match, to start the engines again. That ball is off the tape. Ball hit over by Rawson. Default deep again, but this time Walker is there. Ball hit by Hunt. They work at the spittle. Default. And you see already, you, you see already Default getting a ton of sets from Spittle. Spittle's in the front row, and his number one attacker is going to be Jordan Default. Simmons, Brian Simmons, serving for the Anteaters. And that is long. So we are tied at three, and we are in game one. Austin Diamore will come into the front row. Serving this hunt, waiting for it is Spittle. And Diamore, very short set, went across his body, got it to the Terraplex. 4 3, Irvine. Spittle to serve again. Knuckle balls it over. Walker one-handed set by Zemiak. Ball comes off Hughes. Diving dig. Excellent dig that time by Montgomery. Zemiak goes out to Walker again. Pounds it off the block. Diving dig again by Montgomery. Ball is hit over by du uh, Default. And a point for Irvine. And already you're seeing um, the changes that John Spra has made coming into effect. Two big digs by Montgomery, the new freshman playing libero, and Jordan Default getting some sets in the front row. Spittle serving again. This one does not go over. Service error. And it is 5-4 in favor of Irvine. Jordan Default last night hit 444, the best hitting percentage on Irvine. Serving is Rawson. Softballs it over. Sit down, boy. That was really gobbled up by Dale Moore. And this is the kind of offense that there that uh, UC Irvine's trying to run. Oh, that's uh, the last play by Jordan Fulk with the chisel off the block. But they're passing much better this time, and they're able to run the quick. They've run two quicks already, and guaranteed you're going to see that big play coming up soon. Default serving in the air, nobody there. That ball was, there was a collision in the back between Hunt and Walker. Ball went straight up in the air, and nobody really chased it down. Brennan Dyer finally realized, hey, that ball is heading for the, the floor. 7-4, Irvine by three. Default serving again. That ball dug up by Hunt. They go to Walker, double block is up, and Walker zips it across the court and off the floor. Boy, he sure can't jump. That was a big block that was set up, and he just went right over the top. Here's Umloft. Jonas Umloft. 37 kills last night. Serves. And the ball in the air by Montgomery. Ball was hit by Hughes, and that's overpassed. And the Amore goes cross court with an abbreviated swing. And that ball just inside the line. So it's 8-5, Irvine leading by three, and we're still early in the first game. The Amore to serve. 
in the air by Hunt. Zemiak. And Umlov. Umlov is blocked. They were waiting for him. Good job by Hughes. And Irvine has to be happy with this start right now. They're passing the ball a lot better. And it looks like they're getting a bead on Jonas Umlov, too. The Amor to serve. That's dug up by Hunt. Back set. Umlov still alive. Clark goes to Hughes. That's blocked back off that double block. Goes to Hughes again. And that ball goes in to the crowd. Hey, one thing. Terrific variety. I mean, those sets are going to everybody. 10-5. Irvine has doubled up on Hawaii. Game one. The Jack Fact is sponsored by Jack in the Box, where you can get anything on the menu any time of day. The Anteaters, 